Hey guys, welcome to the 121st C Sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to use the pen class to draw instead of the brush class. So for this tutorial, you're just going to need to have a panel because we're going to be drawing on that panel and just create a new event handler for when a user clicks on that panel. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is create a new pen class. And like I said before, the pen class will just replace our brush class. So we're just going to create a pen. I'll just call it a pen and set it equal to a new pen. And we just have to pass through here a color that we want um, our pen to draw. I'm going to have it draw red, so we'll say color.red. Alright, and just like before, we're going to have to create new graphics so that we have something to draw on. I'll just call it a G and set it equal to panel1.createGraphics so that we can draw on our panel. Alright, so before when we were using the um, brush class, we would use fill, like fill ellipse, fill uh, pi, fill polygon, etc. Well, when we're using the pen tool or the pen class, we're going to be using draw. So we're going to say like draw line, draw polygon, stuff like that. But the first thing that we're going to do is draw a rectangle. So we're going to say draw a rectangle. We're just going to have to pass through the pen that we created, so pen. And then we're just going to put the um, positions that we want it to draw it on. So I'm just going to say 20, 20. I'll make the width 50 by 50. Alright, so now I'm going to debug here and click. Should just, or it should draw a rectangle. Well, I guess it'll be a square since we made um, the size of the same. But yeah, so and the difference here between uh, the pen and the brush is obviously with the pen, it doesn't fill it in, it just draws the outline of the square. And let's say we wanted to change how thick this pen tool is. Well, all we can do here is just pass through a different parameter, which will be the width of the pen tool. So I'll just make it be three pixels wide. So now when we debug and click, we should see that the uh, outline for our rectangle should be a lot thicker. Yeah, now it's uh, much thicker, three pixels. All right, so instead of using like fill ellipse or something, we can just do draw ellipse. And so we're just gonna do um, draw ellipse. We're just gonna put our pen through here. It's just the exact same thing as um, using the fill ellipse. So let's do 20, 20, 50, 50. All right, so now I'm gonna debug. Click, we should just get the outline for our ellipse, or it should be a circle. Yep, perfect. And we can do the same thing with like polygons and rectangles as well. Um, I'll just draw a polygon. So we're going to need to have our pen tool right here, pen. And then we're just going to need an array of points. So let's create some new points up here. Um, I'll just have it draw a rectangle, or I mean a triangle. So we'll just create a new point at 0, 20, another point at 0, 0, Oops, new point, 0, 0, and another point at 20, 0. So we should end up with just a uh, right triangle in the corner of our panel. So new point at 20, 0. All right. So now it's the best there are points right here. Yeah, it's just the exact same thing as fill polygon. Yeah, perfect. All right, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, you can obviously do the same thing with uh, draw a pie. It's not going to do it again. We learned that in a previous tutorial. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. So see you guys.